if theta is the angle between the two vectors a and b and mod of a dot b is equal to mod of cross product that is modulus of dot product is equal to the modulus of the cross product find theta the target is to find theta. What is a dot b? a dot b is mod a mod b cos theta. So, it is mod of a dot b vector that is mod a mod b mod of cos theta. What is a cross b? mod a mod b sin theta into some unit vector perpendicular to a and b. What is mod of a cross b? Why we are not putting mod and sin? Because there is no need. Theta belongs to 0 to pi and in both the quadrants sin is already positive. So, there is no need to put mod here. So, this results in now I mark this equation as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2 and use the given condition. What is given to us? We are being given that And I'm putting the values mod A, mod A will be cancelled, mod B and mod B will be cancelled. This should be your next step. As I remove mod from cos, so this implies that tan theta is plus minus 1. Case 1, when tan theta is 1. that is tan pi by 4. So, clearly theta is pi by 4, but there is one more case also possible that is when tan theta is minus 1. So, that becomes a minus tan 45 pi by 4, which can further be taken as pi minus pi by 4, which is tan 3 pi by 4 and hence theta is 3 pi by 4. So, both these values fulfill the given condition. Therefore, theta is either pi by 4 or 3 pi by 4. But when they say acute angle, it is only pi by 4. Right now, it is pi by 4 or 3 pi by 4 when mod of a dot b is equal to mod of a cross b. If the magnitude of the sum of the two unit vectors is root 3, then find the value of the expression on the basis of the given condition. So, in these type of questions, initially we had to focus on the given condition. From the given condition, we will get something related to the dot product and we will use that condition in the expression. So, we will find the solution together. What is given to us? We are being given that that mod of a plus b vector is unit vector and sorry mod of a plus b is root 3 and both are the unit vectors to get to the concept of dot product, we need squaring. So, we do squaring on both the sides.
this we have already done the process and using the distributive and commutative laws of dot product, we open it up a dot a, a dot b, b dot a, b dot b, I'm sorry, b dot a plus b dot b and here it will be, I'm very sorry, this has to be like this. So it has to be 3 on the other side. Now this is mod a square, the two are equal, so 2 times of a dot b plus a mod of b square is equal to 3. So with this, Now this is 1, this is 1, we shift these two ones to the other side and we get twice of a dot b as 1 and hence a dot b is 1 by 2. So this is the condition from a given condition. So our a dot b is 1 by 2. Many books or few students, what they do, they further go and they fetch the value of cos theta. There is no need. We'll get a dot b and we'll use a dot b in the given expression. Do you remember the given expression? The given expression is Do you remember the expression on which we have to work, that expression is two a minus three b dot a plus three b. Expand using the same laws to a dot a plus six times of a dot b minus 3 times b dot a minus 9 times b dot b. Now this is 2 mod a square 3 times of a dot b minus 9 times of mod b square. This value is 1 and from this equation I am calling it star. From the star equation I am putting the value of a dot b which is 3 into 1 by 2 minus 9 into 1 because it's a unit vector and square of that will be 1. So the answer turns out to minus 7 plus 3 by 2 minus 14 plus 3 by 2 and minus 11 by 2. So the value of the expression is minus 11 by 2 if mod of a plus b vector is root 3.